His father is one of the best baseball players the game has ever seen and one of Baltimore's own. Now the Iron Man's son is trying to make a name for himself and work his way up the Orioles minor league system. ABC 2 Sean Stepner explains from Aberdeen. There's nothing more American than baseball and there's nothing more Baltimore baseball than the name Ripken. 16 years after Cal Jr's retirement, we again have a Ripken on the field in the Orioles organization. It's going well so far. Your designated hitter and first baseman for the O's Class A short season affiliate Aberdeen Ironbirds, Ryan Ripken. Yep, Cal's son. There is familiarity with the Orioles and uh, it's been and not what I expected uh, coming in, to be honest, uh, but in a good way. I feel very comfortable. The people here have been great. The 23-year-old signed with the Orioles before the season and was assigned to the team his dad owns. Now he goes to work at the stadium that bears his name as he tries to make his way out of his Hall of Fame father's shadow. You know, it was definitely felt, you know, with the name associated that uh, there would be a lot more pressure, and, and there still is, for sure. Uh, but coming into it, you know, everyone has just treated me as Ryan, and that's all I want to be treated as. I'm my own person, and I want to just create uh, my own legacy, whatever that may be. You know, whatever my family accomplished, that's great, uh, but I just want everyone to remember me for who I am. This is Ryan's fourth minor league season. The previous three he spent in the Washington Nationals farm system, and a bulk of those he missed with ankle injuries. He tells me he is fully healthy, and he's back to enjoying baseball. You play as a kid because you love the game, and sometimes when you get into professional baseball, you get caught up in wanting to do well and play well and, and the stresses of everything that goes around. But for me, I, I got back to you know, the love for the game, and, and to play, to be healthy is, uh, is great. In Aberdeen, Sean Stepner, ABC2 News.